get up there. Hey, oh, you got some lemons? I need to get a lemon. Ah! Watch out, they're short. I know. I cannot let you go. I just realized we don't have any lemons. So I'm gonna go look on the tree really quickly. Uh, they all look green. Lovely. I found one. Hey, oh, you got some lemons? I need to get a lemon. <laughs> yeah, that was there. Ah. Watch out, they're short. I know. There's almost like thorns on it. Yeah, I was gonna pick those. I couldn't reach them. Here, wait. Can I hand them to you? <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you. That one's perfect. So should I get the this yeah. one, this one, that one? Yeah. I was committed to making. Apple cider vinegar, and I love the- one right under you. Oh, yeah. These ones? Got them on there. And then there's one in the middle. See, there's one right your chest. Really? They're sizes of grapefruits. Ooh, in my armpit. Go with the water. You got it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nothing like climbing a tree in the morning. That was fun. No, not yet. Well, that's a funny looking one. <laughs> This has been my go-to thing recently. I always forget how well this clears up my skin and makes my stomach feel so every time I fall off of drinking this stuff, when I get back on, I'm like, wait, why did I stop drinking it in the first place? I don't know. This morning's been pretty chill. I popped some sweet potatoes in the oven for breakfast with three hard-boiled eggs. I'm gonna get some 
kraut that's in the fridge. This has also been my new favorite thing recently. I've been trying to do a lot of things that relate to gut health and just healing my gut. Not like it's bad or anything, but I want to see how I feel focusing on my gut more. Oh, my eggs are done. Get down the hot water. The key is to put... Oh my god, this is going to be so sweet. He used to put cold water on them right away and then let them sit for like two minutes. I've been trying to focus on my gut health a little bit more than these guys. Sauerkraut is really good. It has a lot of probiotics in it. Just like fermented things in general are really good for your gut. So that's why I'm going to have that. Once my potatoes are done, they're actually probably going to make my, my plates. I was reading my new book so far i'm on pay or i'm on chapter six of book reads pretty good so far and i haven't gone on my phone at all this morning um that's like another thing i've been trying to do recently and i literally put it on airplane mode i bring it down with me but like i put it on airplane mode and i stick it in the other room and then i read a book so this is the current read at the moment um i'm blowing through this i'm literally already on page 15 i'm gonna start it yesterday I also had to climb a lemon tree this morning. Uh, I was very determined to make my apple cider vinegar and then I poured the apple cider vinegar in the water, looked in the fridge, there was no lemons, and I was like, I can't have this without a lemon. So uh, we have a few lemon trees, but majority of them are all green lemons, but I found, or my dad found, I found one, but my dad found like six lemons that I picked. Um, so that was really fun. It was like 45 degrees outside and I was in the lemon tree. I'm gonna make my plate of food. Actually, I need to finish this first and then I'll make my plate of food. This shirt is also from the thrift store and I bought like maybe four other shirts from the thrift store recently and I swear these are like the cutest shirts ever. But I love this one. It has like dots on it making it a tree from a music festival in 2020 or 2013 so thought it was cute okay the, I'm trying this one today I tried this other one brand called pickled planet that one's really good. Now I'm gonna try this one today and we'll see how it tastes. I'm sure it'll taste the same. Actually, it smells really good. Mmm, I like that. Okay, so far, good impressions. I like this one. It's more peppery than the other one. The other one tasted more like pickles. This one tastes more like spicy peppery. For today's breakfast, I'm having three hard boiled eggs, some sauerkraut, and two, oh, this is one sweet potato, but split in half. And then I have salt, pepper on the eggs, and then I have butter with salt on the sweet potatoes. This has been like my favorite breakfast so far this week, this past week. I'm gonna add some, you already know, Cholula on top. The reason I really like this breakfast is it's high in protein, it has the fermented sauerkraut, and I've tried it on eggs before, like on scrambled eggs wasn't my favorite thing ever, so um, yeah. And then sweet potato is like my car. So. I, I hold on to this storm cause I need to be swept away, swept away. I, I'm cornered in the cold where you left me. Left again, left again. Oh, there's a jungle in my head going wild.
dropping things. It's a little bit later. I finished my workout and I put my t-shirt back on because it's so cool today. But what's going on? I just peeled some carrots and I'm gonna make, I'm having lunch right now, so I'm gonna make roasted carrots. And that's all I got right now. Um, I usually make it up as I go, but I usually know like one thing that I really want and that is cooked carrots right now for some reason. And it's funny because I never liked cooked carrots. Like, I think it was just because they weren't uh, seasoned, but I just never liked cooked carrots as like, when I was younger. But I do now. I just throw them in a pan with um, some olive oil, but we are out right now, so I'm gonna try and use butter. I think that should taste fine. So let me grab a pan really quickly. This pan is low key massive <laughs> for the. Well, I could probably put some else, something else in here. I don't know. But toss in your carrots into your baking dish. Then I would use butter. I mean, olive oil, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to do like little cubes of butter on top. But usually I would just like mix it around in there. Then I just add salt, pepper, Onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, and basil to open a new one. Yum! And that's it. Then, let me show you up close. Then just pop this. I have the oven on 450, and I'm just gonna let these cook until they're like softer. I just poke them with a fork, and then I'm, and I say that they're done. So we're like a little low on groceries right now. So uh, I'm gonna make these beef sausages. I'm gonna bake them, but they're so frozen right now. I have to like, they're just, I'm just, they're just going in the oven like this. That's what I've decided. <laughs> they're so frozen. That needs to cook a longer time than usual. It's finally sunny and it was set it was supposed to be raining today so while those cook i'm gonna go sit outside and get some sunshine and soak up those rays because it's so it's always been raining it's always been raining and playing with a cat while my stuff is cooking. I'm having black beans and for some reason, my, even my like my dad's like, why don't you warm them up? But I like black beans from the can cold with salt. They're like so good. But I feel like I'm cooked, but like it's just so easy and so quick. So I have black beans in a bowl. Also gonna cut, I finished cooking my beef sausages and then the carrots are like still low-key kind of hard, but I have them still in the oven while I prep this. And then when they're when I'm done prepping this, I will just get them out and eat them because I'm home. So, so good. They are grass-fed beef sausages from Teton. The carrots look fabulous. Here they are! They look so good! <sighs> the butter is smells looking so good. So this is two carrots. I don't know if that's too many, but I'm gonna eat that anyways. Let's see how many I can eat. It looks like a good amount. Pokey is kind of a lot. Maybe I'll give a couple. Here's my lunch for today is black beans, beef sausages, and cooked carrots. So excited to eat this. Hi everybody, my camera is gonna die really quickly, but I just got ready. I put on a little outfit boutique 
local boutique local boutique so sorry and lulu's jeans and then i'm probably gonna wear my rainbows flip-flops and then my necklaces are these guys and this is called i need to wash my hair hairstyle so <laughs> my mom and i are gonna go to the grocery store right now and we're gonna pick up some groceries for the week and i'm gonna take you guys along on my little camera and i'll see you guys at the grocery store picking out some really good food <laughs> bye Like my face feels like it's freezing. But I just wanna say, this is your sign to get up and go for a nice walk around your neighborhood or at the beach or wherever a nice place is where you live. Just because it is so refreshing just to feel the earth under your feet and the wind and nature and then just natural noises. So this is your sign to get up and go for a nature walk because it is the best thing ever. I got so carried away with dinner. I forgot to film it, but we had meatloaf. And then I had with my meatloaf some more of the sauerkraut because it's, I'm obsessed with it right now. I have it with every meal because it just tastes so good. And then we had asparagus, which is completely gone because I forgot to film it all. <laughs> but right now I'm gonna make some, my digestive hot cocoa mix from Kaizos. This stuff is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> you honestly feel, I honestly feel such a big difference in my sleeping and my digestion at night. I swear like once you take it, like 30 minutes later, you feel really sleepy and just like ready for bed. I almost broke a lid. I fill up my mug with water and then I put it in the tea kettle. All you need is one scoop of this stuff. I'm gonna put it in my mug. And then I use a fork because it breaks up the clumps. And I just stir it around. It's so good. I have to break up more of the clumps a little bit, but. Cheers! <laughs> 
Twilight's day.